What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, our friend Tom Henderson has pulled through for us. Uh, you know, it's just a few days ago I made a video uh, talking about Skull and Bones, what's going on with the game. It's a pr it's a, a series I'm doing on the channel, right, where I'm looking at different games and just kind of talking about them. And then he comes in and he just slams down uh, the hammer that we're getting stuff extremely extremely soon and by the way like if you watch the other videos and i've been covering this game since the beginning five years ago uh i have general excitement you could probably tell that from my voice and how i'm speaking i do fully uh, i'm aware i guess i should say that this game could fully be garbage right this game could come out it could be absolutely trash and i just kind of want it to end at this point half a decade covering a game it's not like it's the only game i cover but half a decade talking about the same game i kind of just want it to come out and be what it is if it sucks it sucks if it's great it's great so let's read what Tom says, and it's pretty easy. There's actually only kind of one part that's added. Sources have said that Ubisoft is preparing to re-reveal Skull and Bones during the week of July 4th. July 4th is a Monday, I believe. Details on what will be revealed are vague, but it's understood that Ubisoft will finally confirm a release date for the long-awaited title, official uh, reveal gameplay, or officially reveal gameplay, and share some other additional details. So, again, 4th of July is that Monday, so it, it wouldn't be that day. It could be as early as the 5th, obviously, but somewhere in that 5th, 6th, seven eight range would be when we would get that uh, now i'm visiting my family you know during that time but i will have my laptop i will be ready to cover just probably not immediately i won't be able to do a video the second it's shown but i will definitely cover it even though i'm there uh and that's you know again like let's just do it let's freaking go let's get the release date if the release you know i, I will say this though if this game comes out in october i'm gonna cry because stop it just stop i mean ubisoft obviously really doesn't have anything to do with the games coming out in in october but we need to put an end to this right now because there's there's honestly about six or so big midnight suns Forspoken, I, uh, the Shadow of Rose, the Resident Evil 8 DLC, Call of Duty, Gotham Knights, A Plague Tale Requiem. I think, yeah, that's six right there. And I'm probably missing one or two. Six games in, in October. Please just do November. There's really not even that going to be that uh, much in November. So just come out in November. Really, that date is going to be a big kicker. Because if it does co come out in October, I can tell you, again, someone who's covered the game for five years and, and really has wasted a lot of his life on this game um, or used up a lot of his life on this game, I guess. Depends on how good it is. Uh, I really want to be able to play it, and I don't want to play it for like three days, and then another big game that I'm really into comes out, and I have to kind of leave it behind. So please come out in November the you know reveal gameplay what's going to be interesting is like we've seen it if you you know i mentioned this in that last video remember they did the uh they, they had that leak that came out the people that were either play testing it or it was like a it was an alpha kind of build of the game when they loaded into the game it was like a nine minute tutorial screen it was like the you know a narrator kind of talking about how the game works we did see gameplay in that and it's very similar to the 2017 2018 stuff that we got of this game it hasn't changed all that much i thought it would change more right so we did get that but it was leaked if you played it on youtube i mean you're gonna get struck down so i didn't and and really nobody did so granted only the people that saw that link that clicked it only they were able to watch it not the you know the vast audience so i'm sure we'll see something similar and something really really big for the game and then those uh those other he says share some other additional details the best thing this game can do and this is if they pull it off best thing the game can do is have an open beta right have a beta that comes out in august or september either one works and you just play it and again i mean the only i guess this, the reason i say like the only way that works is because the beta has to be good <laughs> if it's bad if it's bad having a beta for like a weekend is great right because it's just free press anybody can play it you'll have people like me making videos on it you have ign writing their stories like everybody's kind of working to help the game uh because it's just exposure but if the beta sucks like really badly that could outright kill it right because it's like anybody that was on the fence that plays the beta or watches or hears somebody that plays the beta and then the game comes out or i guess and they hear bad things and then when the game does come out they're not gonna go for it does that make sense so that's uh that's kind of what i'm thinking there uh so it is a risk reward kind of thing but again let's just do it give the date and again that july 4th week so that's only two weeks i mean two weeks away two weeks today 
which me would mean uh, we would probably have the date and, and all those details by then so it should be fun again this like i said in that video actually like the saga is coming to a, a close and i'm actually very happy about that and whether it's good or bad i'm hoping it's good i'm thinking it's not gonna be so good um but maybe that's the pessimistic side of me talking let me know what you guys think make sure you guys are subscribed bell icon turned on so you know when all these videos go up if you want to follow me anywhere else all my social media is in the description below along with our patreon and the youtube join button is a way to help on youtube as well thank you for watching and i hope to see you all on the next video